the Lord of sea and sky. I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Good morning. I'm sorry that you haven't got your favourite lady here today. So be, be praying for her and the family. There are a little, little bit of illness in the house at the moment, so she's decided to stay away today, which is quite right. So be praying for them. Let's come to our prayer of preparation and pause before we declare our faith. And we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. So we pause for a moment and reflect on our lives as we come before our God who's keen to forgive. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all as we confess together. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, Forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And uh, I shall stand on all of our behalf as we declare our worship in the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. We pause for a moment and we say our own prayer of thanks to our Lord before I pray the collect. Almighty God, whose only Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence, give us pure hearts 
and steadfast wills to worship you in spirit and in truth through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen Anne's going to bring us our reading from Colossians. First reading is taken from Colossians, chapter 1, verses 15 to 20. The image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation, for by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn up from the dead, so that in everything he might have for God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Anne. And again, I shall stand on all of our behalf as I uh, read, read the gospel. We join Jesus halfway through a prayer to the Father. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus is praying for his disciples and he continues. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, just as you and me are one. May they also be in us, so that we, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me, because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know you, they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them, and they will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them, and that I myself may be in them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Father, may we... Uh, May we be those disciples that Jesus was praying for. And may we know your will for our lives. Amen. Jesus is before all things and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body of the church. He's the head of this church. Although it grates me to say so, it's not me, it's Jesus that's the head of this church. And you know that already. Because all of God's goodness dwelled in Jesus. The creator of the universe is the head of our church. He's the head of this service on a Wednesday morning for us. We come to worship him. And he says, uh, that, that one, my prayer is not that you take them out of the world. So he's talking about us and the disciples. My prayer is not that you take us out of the world, he says, but they are in the world. And then he continues, as you sent me into the world, I send them into the world. He sends us into the world, which is uh, a slightly daunting prospect, isn't it? So, uh, uh, But it's one of the reasons that over the next few months, as we go into harvest, 
um, which I know is slightly earlier than we'd expect it, as we were discussing earlier on, through remembrance into Christmas, so Advent and Christmas and the New Year. We're going to be looking at what it means to be in the world for God, what some people call our front line. Uh, for many of us, that might be work. For, for many of us, it may not be. It may be our family, our neighbours, the people that we interact with around where we live. It might be the clubs that we go to, people that don't yet know Jesus. So don't worry, I'm not going to send you with Bibles into those groups and, you know, and, and tracks to hand out. Um, but Jesus says he sent us into the world to be fruitful um, and to share God's love in many different ways. And we're going to be discovering over the next four months what those ways might be. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, but just by being who you are on your front line, whether it's at the school gate, picking up grandchildren, or whether it's chatting with the neighbours. Um, I was speaking to someone earlier on who said uh, um, uh, that their neighbour popped over the other day and just for a cup of tea, out of the blue, delivering apples or something, and then stay for a cup of tea while, with her husband while she went out. So it would be interesting to see what happens over the next few months. I, I really feel that this service in particular has an opportunity uh, because there are people out there sitting in their homes right now who would love some company, who would love to know uh, they can come here on a Wednesday morning, maybe share a cup of coffee, maybe later on we'll have some, you know, some lunch together another time. Uh, and I think there's real opportunity for growth for this service. And as they come, maybe, maybe they come for company, they will discover the love of Jesus amongst you because the love of Jesus is amongst you. So uh, pray with me, guys, as we head into these next four months. Pray with me about that. Pray about what your part might be. Maybe, maybe something as simple as inviting someone along. I don't know. But let's see how fruitful we can be on our front line for Jesus in the next few months. Let's pray for a moment. Jesus, we want to see your church grow, not, not for numbers, but for actually the spread of your kingdom here. For people who don't yet know you, to know your love. To know that they are loved by the Creator God. And so as we consider over the next few months what our front line is and how we can be you in that front line. Remove all fear, I pray. Give us the peace that passes all understanding and show us the way. Amen. Let's turn to our creed as we declare our faith together and we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Well, I've got to do all the work myself today, haven't I? So, so I'm going to pray in a moment. Um, I just wonder if there's anything on your hearts at the moment that I should be praying for. Um, anyone got anything suggested? Come on, come on. The world. The world. It's it, yeah, the news this morning out of Russia is disturbing. Absolutely, I'll be praying for that. Anything else?
absolutely. Can we? Yeah, yeah. So the influence of Her Majesty's faith and, and the acting out of that to spread throughout. And Justin Welby, what a cracking job he did in the sermon declaring the faith of Jesus there. But yeah, we'll pray for that as well. Any more? Sure. So, sorry, what was the name? Uh, what was the name? Mary, Mary Lowe and um, Mary Lowe. Mary Lowe and Lillian. Right, okay, we'll pray for them as well. Okay. Well, as I pray, you know, as always, that you can lift your quiet prayers as well, because our God can hear all of us. So, let's come before God and, and lift our intercessions to Him. Father, we would normally pray for those who are bereaved at the end of our prayers, but it feels right to, to bring them to you straight away. And so we bring Mary Lowe and Lillian. We bring others who are bereaved right now. We bring our friends, the Vospers, to you. We bring our nation as we continue to accept that our Queen is no longer with us. We pray for your peace to be upon all those who mourn. I can't help but reflect once again on the fact that Jesus wept when he saw those who mourned. As we ask that you would send comfort to all those who need it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And uh, we bring our world before you. We're particularly concerned as we hear the news out of Russia this morning. Uh, the saber rattling that is going on there. We pray that you will turn uh, turn Putin's uh, mind to you, and that even at this stage he might he might repent and turn away f from that. We pray for uh, the other leaders um, in the Russian army that they might turn away from pushing forward. We pray for all men and women on that battlefield, on both sides, Lord, that they would, that they would turn away from evil, turn to, to you, that they would, uh, in their fear, have peace brought to them. We pray for the other parts of our world as well where we see more violence and, and Lord we cry out to you have your way in this place. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. And we come before you with our nation and just as Christine was saying we thank you for the witness to this nation over the last week. Thank you for the Queen's uh, faith declared so overtly, both in life and death. We pray that that won't simply wash over people, but will have a deep impact on their lives. That we might turn to you. That we might live lives that are godly. That we might repent. Draw your people in, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for our government and for Liz Truss as she begins to lead. For wisdom for her. We pray for uh, them as they decide how they might approach the problems that we're going to have this year with energy prices and the impact on all families. We lift to you those in opposition as well, and we pray for all of those who are in politics, that they might lead for your people and not for their own gain. Dare we pray for unity amongst our politicians, Lord. We lift you those families around the country who are in fear of what the future holds. Praying for, for provision where it's needed. Praying for our food banks across the country. Lord, we don't want to have food banks, but bless them while we need them. 
bring off to a point where they're not required. Give us generous hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We lift you, Bedhampton. And as we head into a season of looking at how, being fruitful with those that we meet in our daily lives, that we declare our faith in love, in our actions, in words when it's appropriate. We ask for you to guide us. And as we head into this season of remembrance and harvest, we pray that you will bring peace to our hearts as well. That we might share with those who are hurting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we lift to you all those who need your healing power. Praying for all those on our sheet. Prompt us daily to lift them to you, we pray. And we lift ourselves to you. And, and we want to walk in a way that, that honours you. So Father, guide us. Be with us through your spirit. Merciful Father, accept these praise for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. If you were here
The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son. Born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rise and you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom and with whom and in the unity of the Holy Spirit or honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. So my friends, draw near with faith and receive the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs from under your table. 
that you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. The body of Christ, broken for all God's people. Amen. The blood of Christ shared for all God's people. Amen. Lord God, the source of truth and love, keep us faithful to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, united in prayer and the breaking of bread, and one in joy and simplicity of heart. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Isn't it funny how quickly you get used to doing things one way? I so miss not having Jill up here today. You know? <laughs> how strange. What's that been, a couple of months now, isn't it? Since July. How funny. I'm sure you miss her as well. I could say, be praying for her and the girls. Um, and they, got, they get through that little bit of illness in the house. Um, that'd be great. Not much in the way of news. And uh, just to remind you, I think you're probably all aware by now that there was a miscommunication in the news sheet. We do have a all together harvest here in this venue, 10 a.m. on Sunday. So uh, bring, if you haven't already, bring along some uh, donations for the food bank. That'd be great. And just to say, um, the other thing probably just worth mentioning, I'll send more details out in the next week or so when Jill gets back from, Jill Matthews is the other Jill, gets back from her holiday. But we uh, are going to move the what was going to be the holiday club into a Friday, Saturday and Sunday sort of fun day um, type thing. But you'll see more of that in the news sheet this week. So just bear that in mind. Other than that, I shall enjoy a cup of tea or coffee with you in a moment. And for now, the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright, who will bear my light to them.
will break their hearts of stone. Give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my words to them. Whom shall I send? I am God. This is Here I am.